Well, the story of La Daphne is probably familiar to most people, even if you can't remember all the details. Basically, it's set in ancient antiquity, at a time when the gods and goddesses are still wandering around the earth, interfering with human lives. It starts in the city of Delos, where the local inhabitants have been ravaged by a really nasty monster who's been poisoning the ground and setting fire to everything. But the local citizens are praying to heaven to send an answer. And down comes Apollo with his great big bow and arrow, and he manages to kill the monster, and everybody's very happy. But on his way back to Mount Olympus, he bumps into Cupid and immediately starts to tease him about the size of his bow and arrow. So Cupid decides to get his revenge by shooting a little arrow at Apollo, which causes him to fall in love with the first woman he meets. Well, that just happens to be Daphne. Daphne is not interested in men at all. She's a follower of the goddess Diana, who is the goddess of chastity and hunting, and that is all that she is interested in. So when Apollo starts to try to get her interested, she's actually quite horrified and tries to get away from him, running as fast as she can. Apollo by this stage is totally heated up and runs off in hot pursuit. Daphne, extremely worried about the consequences of all this, cries out to heaven to save her and is turned into a laurel tree. 